Hello everybody, Big Beardy back again with another video and this one I think is actually really quite important. Um, I don't know how many people actually do this. I've done it since I started because I got into the habit of doing it when I did a different job. And it's basically doing a van walk around, um, often doing one often to make sure your van is actually fit for pur purpose. Um, I was going to take the camera out and do like walk around the van and show everyone but I thought I couldn't find, figure out how to hold the camera and do it at the same time. And I thought, you guys know what tyres are. And you know how to check your oils. And if you don't, then you should seriously go and figure out that stuff. Because it's very important. So, I started doing this regularly. I, I originally was uh, I, I was a logist logistics manager for a major retailer. And then I was m moved across to Norfolk. And I needed a job to move me from the Midlands, where I was living at the time, to Norfolk. Couldn't do that in my current job, so I ended up leaving there and getting a job for Sainsbury's as a van driver, just so I could get transferred across, and I had work. Made sense to me, and it worked out great. One of the things they do before you start every shift is you do a van walk around, and I've probably all the major, um, all the supermarkets that deliver stuff, any big company probably has the same procedure. And they do this so that you can flag any problems up, and if there is an issue, then... You can say, oh, this is what the van looked like when I start the shift, this is it afterwards. Now, as an independent courier, it's something I think people should do as well, because it safeguards you against a few things. Um, first of all, if there is an issue, you can get it sorted before you go and get a job. And second of all, it will flag up anything that might become an issue later on. So, how does it, it work? Basically... First off, you, you check your tyres. We all know the procedure. Check for bulges, cuts, nails, uh, if it's balding. Check that. I tend to check my tyres and roll forward a little bit more so I can check the underside, which you can't see. Make sure they're all in working order. If you're doing this on a regular basis, you can tell how worn your tyres are getting. And if you see a cut or a nail in it, you can get it sorted as soon as possible. If you get pulled over and your tyres are bald, you're in... I think it's three points per tyre, if I remember correctly, and massive fines. And if all four of them are screwed, you're in real trouble. So you want to keep an eye on that. You also check your uh, tyre pressures. You can get a little tyre pressure gauge, just stick it in a tyre, gives you the pressure. You check your oil, your um, all your fluids in your engine, and you just you you turn on the, the cab, you check to see if there's any warning lights, you check your petrol level, make sure that's still... You've got plenty of petrol. And you're basically just checking the van is in good working order, that the oil, all the fluid levels haven't dropped. There's no issue there. Um, the tyres are all in good nick. The van itself is in good nick. Now, this is really important for two reasons and why you should do it probably once every other day because it only takes 10 minutes, if that. And the two reasons are, first of all, if you go out and do it in the morning and you find a problem, Let's say you've got a flat tyre. Let's say you've got a nail in tyre. It gives you the opportunity to change that tyre before you go and do the job. Now, I don't wake up, get ready, then go out and do my check, then jump in the cab straight away and go off to the job. I tend to wake up, go to the... Um, get a cup of coffee on the go, go out to the van. Let's say I've got a job at half nine. I've got to leave at, let's say, nine o'clock to go pick it up. I'll be checking the van at 8 o'clock. And the reason is, if there is a problem, I can then sort it out before I have to leave to go and get that job. You don't want to be checking two minutes before you have to leave the house to go and do the job because then it doesn't give you the time to fix any issues there are. Let's say you're low on... Let's say your oil level's low. If you've got to go straight to the job, you haven't got time to pull over and get some oil and top up. So you want to give yourself that time to get stuff checked. So the best thing to do is... You get up in the morning, give yourself plenty of time. Before you've even had a shower or anything, just go out, do the check real quick. Because if there's no issue, then you can go get ready. Last thing you want is to go out, I'm ready for work, come to the van, oh shit, I've got a flat tyre. Oh, my oil levels are low. Oh, this is an issue. I've got to get this done before I pick the job up, but I ain't got time to do it. Go and do, get that sorted. The second reason why this is very important is you can see if there's an issue coming forward in the future. If your oil levels keep dropping, because you're checking regularly, it keeps dropping, I've got an issue. If there's a tyre that 
you know, it's starting to bold, you know there's an issue. Get it sorted. If there's a tire that the tire pressure seems to be dropping, if you're checking it every other day and it keeps dropping, uh, you know, three, four psi, or whatever it is, it's like right there's an issue there. I need to get it sorted. Rather, you you don't want to be out on the road on a motorway with a full load and have a blowout. If you can indicate a problem before it becomes a problem, it will save you a lot of money in the long run. It's going to sting. You know, you're going to have to pay out now. But it's going to be a lot less than you'll have to pay out later. It's all about prevention. It's all about just making sure the van's in good working order. So you don't have to worry about it when it absolutely screws out on a motorway. And you've got to get towed. And then you get to the garage. Then get it fixed. And then you've lost the job. Then the customer's pissed off because your van wasn't in good working order. And you let something go wrong. So what I say to everyone is start doing morning checks. You can do it every morning if you want. It only takes 5-10 minutes. You're literally just starting the engine checking the tyres, rolling forward, making sure the underside of the tyres are alright, checking that all your fluid levels are correct, making sure there's no lights on your dashboard, and that's about it. It shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. Another thing you can do, which they do at most companies, but you don't have to do with your own van really, is look for dings and bumps and stuff. You know? If suddenly there's a big scratch down the side of your van, and you thought, oh that bloke was parked next to me close to that other warehouse you know you can sort of say to listen one of your people ding my van you know so it's good just to keep a check on the, these things it helps you in the short term it helps you in the long run and that should you know save you some money which would be great so i hope this helps some people <laughs> it's what i do now i do it every i do it every other day unless i know i'm going for a long run um i check the tires every day i've had two I need to replace like a few weeks back because literally one had a nail and one had a big cut in it and I think it probably happened at the same place and I noticed it straight away. If the day after that I was picking up a heavy load, I could have had a double blowout quite easily if I hadn't kept an eye on my tires and checked them. So, you know, word of warning. So I hope this helps. Um, if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe and as always, be safe out there and have a great day.